What's going on church fam? It's church life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So the Heavenly Father placed a powerful word in my spirit about relationships. If you've been wondering about certain people in your life, or even if you're in a relationship with someone and you've been wondering to yourself, is this the person for me? Is this the one? God said it will show in their actions. Are they someone that steals your peace or give you peace? Are they someone that you could be yourself around? Or are they someone that helps you become a better person? Someone that helps build your character? See, it will always show in their actions because you could judge a tree based upon the fruit it bears. So if you are around people that causes you to go against the character of God or just live in a way that's not pleasing to the Heavenly Father, those people may not be for you. Because in order for any relationship to work, both of you must be on one accord because a house that's divided can't stand. When certain individuals are meant to be in your life, you won't have to guess if they're the one because it will always be confirmed based upon their credibility. For example, John the Baptist was struggling with doubt for a brief moment because he needed confirmation to know if Lord Jesus was the one that the scripture prophesied about. And so what he did was send two of his disciples to ask Lord Jesus a question. And the scriptures say in Luke 7 verse 20, when the men were come unto him, they said, John Baptist has sent us unto thee, saying, Are thou he that should come, or look we for another? After they asked that question, Lord Jesus went on to heal the blind, cure the sick, and cast out evil spirits among the people. And then the word went on to say in Luke 7, verse 22 through 23, Then Jesus answered, saying unto them, Go your way. And tell John what things ye have seen and heard, how that the blind see, the lame walk, the leopards are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the dead arise. To the poor the gospel is preached, and blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. So John was reassured based upon the credibility of Lord Jesus, the stuff he did through his actions. Not just speaking about it, it was all done through his actions. So if you truly want to know if certain people are meant to be in your life, pay attention to the fruit they bear. God told me to let you know it will always show in their actions how they treat you, how they mistreat you. Pay attention to how people continue to conduct themselves around you. Because you can tell when somebody hates you. Eventually, it will show if you pay attention to the details. No one has it all together because we all have room for improvement. But there are certain ways that people have sometimes that's not good that we continue to allow in our lives. And the more you push under the rug, the worse it becomes over time. So it's some stuff that we shouldn't tolerate, especially if we want to have a good relationship with people. See, it will always show in their actions and how they continue on when it comes down to how we treat each other. It's the credibility that will eventually speak for itself. Just like how Lord Jesus' credibility spoke to John the Baptist. See, if Lord Jesus didn't perform these miracles, if he didn't do what he was called to do, how will we be able to believe him? But because he did these things, that's how we know that he's the one. But see, it goes deeper than that. That's how you know when God has sent you somebody that's meant to be in your life. It was show based upon how they treat you. It will show based upon how they talk to you. It will show 
based upon the things they continue to do in your life, whether it be with a friend or a relationship that you might be in. Even at jobs, we, we know if this job is meant for us based upon how the company carry itself. But sometimes the Heavenly Father will allow something to not work because he's trying to get you to the right company. He's trying to get you to the right people. Sometimes we continue to hold on to something and we might be afraid to lose it because we feel like we can't do better. We feel like we put too much effort in whatever it is that you're trying to hold on to. And because you put all this time and effort in it, you become afraid to let it go. God said, put your trust in him. Because whatever's meant to be in your life, you don't have to fight for it. You don't have to chase it. All you got to do is believe in the Heavenly Father. When you get that relationship right, everything else going to fall in place. If you've been hoping to get married one day, if you think about Adam in the Garden of Eden, right? If you think about Adam, he didn't have to go chasing after his wife. God gave him a wife because he said he see that it ain't good for man to be alone. So sometimes the reason why we're not in the right friend groups or in the right relationships with our significant other. Sometimes the reason why it ain't working because God is working on you and he's working on the person and also the people that's meant to be in your life. So that's why it's so important to develop that real connection with the heavenly father first. So then when he's ready to place you in a relationship that will work, that will bring peace to you, that will develop you as a person. Not only will you be ready for that relationship, but they will too. This is how God operates. So we must have patience and wait on his timing. God don't do stuff out of order. When he has a calling over your life, he's preparing you for that calling. And then, that's when he started adding stuff to your life. That's why Lord Jesus said, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then shall all these things be added to your life. So the main point to this video is to let you know what God placed in my spirit. If you've been wondering if certain people are meant to be in your life, or if you're in a relationship and you've been wondering if they're the one, God told me to let you know. It will show in their actions and it will be confirmed based upon their credibility, what they continue to do. Because sometimes people try to disguise themselves as someone good, but really they're a wolf in sheep's clothing. So that's why you got to know the character of God. That's why you got to build that relationship with God. You got to know the fruits of the spirit. Because if they're operating outside of that, right, based upon what they try to get you to do, if it's something that goes against the will of God, then you know they're not for you. They might just try to say all the right things to try to get what they want out of you. So get to know God first. Because when you acknowledge God in all your ways, he shall direct your path. He's going to lead you to where you need to be. And it's all going to come together. It's going to work together for your good. So continue to love God. And I pray that the Heavenly Father send you someone special in your life. And I pray the Heavenly Father bless you with like-minded people that will eventually become good friends to you. And someone that helps draw you closer to the Heavenly Father. I pray this video bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.